You're back for another episode of The Space, a mindfulness podcast that's not like the others. I'm your host, Casey Donovan, and together with Amy Malloy, we use every Monday to explore tips to get you clear and prepared for the week ahead. Do you know what day it is? It's National Sickie Day. According to statistics, the first Monday in February is the day when most people are likely to chuck a sickie. It's put down to a number of reasons. People get paid at the end of January. They have a big weekend. They need a reset come Monday. A lot of people also reevaluate their careers in January. How many sick employees are attending job interviews? Whatever the reason, nobody feels comfortable making an excuse. Making the phone call, sending the email. We feel like school kids getting out of a maths exam. How can mindfulness help us? Step one, be honest with yourself. Mindfulness is all about accepting the emotions behind your actions. Don't kid yourself that maybe you do have a headache. Say your real reason aloud. I'm feeling emotionally fragile. I'm hungover. I'm tired. I'm nervous about that work presentation. You don't have to fix it. But don't lie to yourself either. Tip two. Be real about the consequences. I'll have to work late three days this week. My boss will suspect that I'm not really sick. My colleagues will have to pick up the slack. Notice how your body feels when you think about this. If your stomach constricts, take some deep breaths. Does it make a difference? Are you happy to accept the tension? Is a day of leisure worth it? Tip three, own your choices. What's the point of chucking a sickie if you're going to feel sick with guilt afterwards? A mindful sickie is one you pull intentionally. You think it through, you weigh it up, and you accept your decision. It's as emotionally healthy as a sickie can be. I'm Casey Donovan, and this is The Space. Tune in tonight for another mood-soothing episode. How to stick a pin in an argument. Space out.